And there's another picture of a man being shot there, and it seems that they're carrying his body. These days, whenever we go to a war zone or a dangerous area, we have to go to a hostile environment course. What kind of hostile environment <laughs> preparations did you have? You're joking. <laughs> No, no, I hope not. That you just what get kind in. of no, listen, the, <laughs> preparation the, did you have? Listen, when uh, uh, 79, 40, I'm 35 then. I want you 35, you're immortal, basically. And people say, oh, great courage, great courage. Well, I tell you, I tell you very frankly, physical courage is very often a lack of imagination. You can't imagine it happening to you. If you knew, if you guessed, if you had a great chance of it happening to you, maybe you wouldn't go to these places. So you, in a way, you're immortal. In fact, I remember vividly I became immortal during the revolution. You know, anyway, that's another story. So you're immortal. You know, there is action. And I've been in other situations of you know, strife and wars. and <clears throat> Although in the other places, I was not... I was concerned, but I wasn't involved. So you take pictures, you know, you, <laughs> the, you, you learn by... Uh, I mean, I remember, again, when I said I became mortal, which means in Iran, in the, when I was living in the morning, I wasn't sure to come back in the evening. You know, at my, I had a flat there, I was staying there, and, and that's the first time I wrote my testament, you know, my, my will. So that's why I said you became mortal, you know. But it was, it was a cause, you know, it was, that was a difference. Again, you're involved, it's a cause. It's not just you being concerned. See, when I go to Mexico, I go to Africa, I go to, uh, I don't know, Thailand, whatever, I'm concerned. Otherwise, I wouldn't go there. But Iran, I was involved. Even if it kept my distance, still I was involved. We didn't, I mean, we didn't have, we didn't have a helmet or a... Or a and, you know, we had it in Vietnam, yeah, but not in Iran. You couldn't walk around with a helmet on a you know, bulletproof vest. It'd be, it'd be ridiculous. <laughs>